Who has ever heard of Leverage Buyout or LBO? Well, most of the rich and f wealthy have. Are you aware that LBO is used to buy and take over mega businesses and properties using no cash down strategies? And by the way, it is also used for small and medium sized businesses as well. What has been since 1805 continuously the greatest wealth producing strategy known to man? Well, you probably know that already, it's LBO. It is the greatest wealth producing strategy known to man and has produced more famous million and billionaires than any other system since its enunciation in 1805 by one of the wealthiest men in the world at the time, Baron de Rothschild. Hi, I'm Barry Thornton and I want to talk to you about Leverage Buyout, which of course is one of the most successful and long-standing um, wealth creation systems known to men. LBO beneficial to all? Well, you know, let's have a look at this. Yet very few people have been have even heard about Leverage Buyout, let alone have any idea what the system is or how beneficial it can be to those in trouble and financially to actual LBO practitioners themselves. It says businesses and jobs. Why do we call the users of LBO system practitioners uh, as, as being um, altruistic? It's because they save companies, businesses and jobs plus as a consequence are generally the most highly paid wealthy and powerful people in the country and the world. Do you recognize these names? Why not join them? A few well-known examples of LBO practitioners Sugar, Branson, Mittel, Trump, Rothschilds and of course banks use it Ford and Toyota. Banks have to recognize it because it is one of the you know th when they sold p and for instance they just didn't go to the bank and ask for 20 billion or something like that, they, they did a deal and the deal was a transaction which used leverage buyout, which once you understand how this works, you'll understand how those deals were transacted. LBO the way to the very top. And that's true. LBO is the formula used by the wealthy, influential and powerful to acquire businesses, properties, influence and power so as to enhance their wealth. In a world where, at a certain point, money is not just representative of what you can buy, but how much power its owner wields, and that is true. I mean, you know, if you see some of these very powerful men, I mean, these LBO practitioners help appoint governments and prime ministers, etc., because of their wealth, because they can help fund um, party funding for elections. Kings have always ruled through patronage. Patronage is power. The patronage of top LBO practitioners who by using his or her fortune can purchase top football players for the club team so it can win is a, a very powerful form of patronage which rings very very strongly with the fans of that team. This is huge power and influence that has visible repercussions leading to the media coverage if the plan works. Clearly, if one has money, just leaving it in the bank, doing nothing, without circulating it, its power and influence is drastically curtailed. But supposing besides owning many properties, you buy a football club, which is a fairly good example of what some men have done, whose loyalty by fans can often be stronger than a religious belief. Such an owner will be speaking out in the press, media, radios and TV weekly and can become an opinion former. It's an asset that is worth millions and billions in the advertising world and the press want to know what's going on because their fans want to know what's going on and quite often, for instance, Manchester United has fans in China and all over the planet. No country in the world has the influence of Britain. Our media, above all others, is listened to and read worldwide. If you link your name to this power and use it to achieve this type of notoriety, your profile has just been given a huge boost, plus any business venture you may be involved in. You know, people want to 
associate with people who are involved in, in sport and clubs, etc. And it's amazing, the doors just open. The rich oligarchs from Russia, who would not be so well known if, for instance, one of them, Roman Abramovich, had not purchased Chelsea Football Club and spent some of his millions out of his billions on the club. Being so visible is power and protection and influence. He used his great wealth wisely to obtain for himself the unprecedented exposure the ac acquisition of this club has brought him because he spent a lot of money on the club and of course the fans appreciate that and of course the club has actually done very well and, uh, uh, and the more the better it does of course the more the press want to, want to know more about it. Such exposure costs money but it's nothing when such wealth is available. In no other country except Britain has its media which allow such worldwide exposure um, so prevalent. Nothing in any other country has the power like it. The greater the profile, the better the opportunities that present themselves. And, you know, if you get into a leverage buyout, uh, you take over the first company for 300000 the second one for 450000 the third one for 600000 you're suddenly a millionaire. LBNO, LBO enables even small businessmen and women to move forward quickly. And as I say, you know, if you buy the first business at 300,000, the second business at 350,000, the first business at five to 600,000 because you're growing all the time, then, you know, you are a more than a millionaire already. And anyway, that's on paper. And um, so you can move ahead very quickly. In 10 years, an LBO practitioner can grow really fast from an ordinary person to being well recognized and very wealthy. Visit our site if you want to decide to become an LBO practitioner at www.leveragebuyout.org or phone just now on 0845 05 Thank you very much.